from Mr. Robot, please welcome Portia Doubleday. Creating worlds was once an activity reserved for the gods. But the people in this room, they do it for a living. It's incredibly impressive. Even though it takes a little bit longer than seven days to build their mountains, planets, and galaxies. Here are the nominees for Outstanding Created Environment in an episode, commercial, or real-time project. Outstanding Created Environment in an episode, commercial, or real-time project. Vikings Paris, Paul Wishart, Carol Walzerzik, Tom Morrison, Matt Ralph. Game of Thrones, City of Atlantis, Dominique Piche, Christine Leclerc, Patrice Passant, Thomas Montmini Broder. Game of Thrones, Drogon Arena, Rajiv B.R., Loganathan Perumal, Ramesh Shankers, Anders Ericsson. Black Sails, Charles Town Harbor, Aladina DeBert, Matt Dugan, Greg Teagarden, Ken Jones. And the award goes to Game of Thrones City of Volantis. Wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so first of all, I just want to say that that scene was a really, really, really big teamwork together, all the departments. Actually, everybody here is from depart different department. It has been so great, and actually it has been a, a really fun work. And thank you, uh, everybody, to uh, first of all, the Visual Effects Society. Uh, HBO for the trust in rodeo, Joe Bauer, Steve Callback, uh, for the, seriously, you push us to the next level. A big thank you for that. Uh, Sebastien Moreau, who is the president of Rodeo FX, who always support us, is always there for us for whatever we need, really good. Uh, Mathieu Rudeau and Dick Ferrand for their uh, leadership and their talent. Yeah, probably a lot of people know them. <laughs> Melanie Larue, Annie Klisch, Marina Popova, Rocco Gioff, uh, actually all the team that worked on this, this amazing environment. A big thank you. Thanks, guys. Et merci beaucoup, Rodeo. On amène le prix. And now the nominees for Outstanding Created Environment in an Animated Feature. Outstanding Created Environment in an Animated Feature. The Peanuts Movie, Charlie Brown's Neighborhood. John Townley, Angel Camacho Torres, Cleveland Hibbert, Ken Lee. you out here so late in the day. <sighs> Inside Out, Imagination Land. Amy L. Allen, Steve Karski, Eric Andrios, Jose L. Ramos Serrano. <laughs> Sean the Sheep Movie, Under the Arches. Matt Perry, Charles Coping, Alfred Upia Perez, Andy Brown.
The Good Dinosaur, The Farm, David Munier, Matthew Webb, Matt Curick, Tom Miller. And the award goes to The Good Dinosaur, The Farm. Since you're running out of time, what do you mean? Oh, 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 what do you mean? Better make up your mind, what do you mean? Y'all for protective weather. Wow, thank you. Um, really like to thank the VES and VES membership for honoring environments which are often of an unsung artistry in our films. And this award really celebrates the amazing work of dozens of artists at Pixar and our support staff. And we're privileged to represent them and accept this on their behalf. And I must thank our director, Pete Sohn, who really challenged us to make a fully realized 3D world where you could point the camera anywhere. And this was a really impossible task for us. And we would like to thank also our production staff, our producers Denise Reem, Mary Alice Drum, and supervisor Sanjay Bakshi for really supporting us all the way through. And none of us would be here without the love and support of our families. So I'd really especially like to thank our loved ones who stand by us through the lean times and the insanity. And for those of us lucky enough to have kids, I think you'll understand that when the credits rolled and my son Logan jumped out of his seat and gave me a big bear hug, that that made me the happiest man alive, and I knew that we had really succeeded in our task making this film and that we'd made our mark. Thank you. And your final Created Environment Award. The nominees for Outstanding Created Environment in a Photo Reel Feature. Outstanding Created Environment in a Photo Reel Feature. Tomorrowland, Tomorrowland Center. Barry Williams, Greg Kegel, Quentin Marmier, Thang Lei. <laughs> Ant-Man, The Microverse. Florian Witzel, Taylor Shaw, Alexis Hall, Heath Cranach. <laughs> Relevant. Star Wars The Force Awakens, Falcon Chase Graveyard. Yannick DeSalt, Mike Wood, Justin Vanderleck, Quentin Marmier. <laughs> the Walk World Trade Center, Jim Gibbs, Brian Flora, Laurent Telefier, Pavel Kolar. Jurassic World, Jungle Chase, Martin Culpit, Zoe Alcita, Utah Shimizu, Michael Billette. And the award goes to Star Wars, The Force Awakens, Falcon Chase Graveyard. No, I know that I'm not all that you got. I guess that I, I just thought maybe we could find new ways to fall apart. But our friends are back, so let's raise a Cause I found so much. Yeah. Wow, this is absolutely amazing. I think for everybody at ILM that worked on Star Wars and these guys up here, I think this was a true visual effects pilgrimage for all of us and very nerve wracking, obviously. Um, I'd like to thank everybody at ILM, the amazing Roger Gayette, the amazing Pat Tupac, JJ Abrams, 
um, Susumu Yukihiro, our sensei. Um, and lastly, I would say um, our wives that basically helped us make this sequence. So um, Mike's wife, Emma, my wife, Jacqueline, and um, sorry, Quentin. He's up in the running again for a girlfriend. So all the single ladies, <laughs> please get him. Thank you, guys. Up next, Pete Doctor, and still to come, special awards for Ridley Scott and Sid Mead. That song is random. Okay, um, <laughs> folks, we are one eighth of the way through the show. We are blazing through. The doors are locked. Try to conserve water. Okay, um, that ILM package, could you guys please put that online? I'm serious, that was amazing. And I hope that you put together as amazing and respectful a package for Mr. Ripley Scoot, because he deserves, <laughs> this is his night, and Ripley Scoot has done so many amazing movies. And speaking of people who've done amazing movies, uh, I've gotten, I've had the pleasure of meeting this guy and working uh, up at his company, and he's made some of my favorite movies, including uh, Inside Out, which my daughter insisted on seeing in a theater with me six times. That's how much she loved that amazing movie. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Pete Doctor. Pete Doctor, ladies and gentlemen. Well, if you could see inside my brain right now, you might think you'd see fear saying, don't mess this up in front of all these people, but let's be real. If you could literally see inside my brain right now, that would probably mean that I'm dead, which would make for a boring introduction, although maybe more interesting than the one you're hearing. Still, it would make for an outstanding visual effect in a special venue project, which we will now see the nominees. Outstanding visual effects in a special venue project. Goosebumps VR Adventure. Ryan McDougall, Mike Weigart, Alex Harding, Daniel Marsh. Oh, I don't remember writing about a giant praying mantis. <laughs> Fast and Furious Supercharge. Oh! Chris Shaw, Elisa Cotter, Ben White, Diego Guerrero. Not gonna happen. Don't worry, I got this. It's the Nitrous. Nike, the Neymar Jr. effect. Janelle Croshaw, Ian Markowitz, Lou Pacora, Aruna Inversen. Oh, hello there. SpongeBob Subpants. Nicely done, button pusher. Brent Young, John Kokum, Michael Smith. Timothy Williams. Barnacle Bill's irregular Cloviers. Pretty light traffic today. Kaka's Great Adventure. Nilish Gure. Rajiv Kesap. Umag Vaja. Shafi Muhammad. And the winner is Fast and Furious Supercharge. Hi, I'm Wes Sewell. I was just, uh, uh, I worked on the project, uh, Fast and Furious Supercharged. I'm here to accept the award for Chris Shaw and Ben White and their teams. Um, Chris Shaw was the mastermind behind this amazing experience. I don't know if you've had a chance to go up to Universal Studios and take the tour and see the ride. Biggest 3D screen ever created. Um, MPC did the work under the guidance of uh, and leadership of Ben White. Um, they um, rendered the largest frames ever rendered um, and in stereo, mind you, as well. Um, Chris wanted me to thank um, Universal Creative, the producers of this uh, uh, ride, and as well. Um, MPC and their amazing team um, who worked for almost a year to create these giant frames. Um, as well, um, 
I um, uh, have to thank New Deal Studios, our friends there, who uh, helped get, get us to the production. I was there supervising the live action and also the Pepper's Ghost Gag with them. Uh, amazing group, amazing team. And Chris also wants to thank you, colleagues, and the Visual Effects Society at large. Um, stay supercharged. Thanks. In the entire history of movie making, there has been one essential element without which the movie would not exist, and that is the camera. As the nominees for virtual cinematography prove, that barrier has been broken. This group has blended the historical with the cutting edge to give the audience a new, exciting, and immersive experience that could never have happened before. Here are the nominees for outstanding virtual cinematography in a photoreal project. Outstanding virtual cinematography in a photoreal project. Ant-Man Macro Action. I'm gonna disintegrate you! James Baker, Alex Kahn, Thomas Luff, Rebecca Baylor. Star Wars The Force Awakens, Falcon Chase Graveyard. Paul Cavanaugh, Colin Benoit, Susumu Yukuhiro, Greg Salter. The Walk Towers Walk. Sean Hall, Suzanne Cipolletti, Laurent Tylfer, Daria Shvolsky. Mission Impossible, Rogue Nation, Underwater Tourist Chamber. Vincent Oputi, Margot Duran Rival, Christopher Ansialme, Robert Ellswit. And the winner is Star Wars The Force Awakens, Falcon Chase Graveyard. Well, we would, um, come close, come on, come on guys. Um, we would like to thank the Visual Effects Society very much for this uh, amazing award. We're very honored by it. Um, you know, this really was a dream come true for all of us, not, not just us standing here, but working on Industrial Light and Magic and working on another Star Wars movie. That was quite something, a dream come true for all of us, all the artists at ILM, and we'd like to thank Disney for making Star Wars movies again. Thank you very much for that. We'd like to thank uh, Kathleen Kennedy at uh, Lucasfilm for being our leader and taking us down that path, and I want to thank her very much. Um, to J.J. Abrams um, for directing a, an awesome movie, which we can all be very, very proud of. And then all of the team at Industrial Light and Magic. I mean, you know, this is a real team effort, and in, vi in virtual cinematography, it's not only layout and uh, animation, you know, it's, it's, it's everyone. It's uh, environment and compositing and rendering and everyone. We all come together as a team to make this happen. And it's all of the amazing artists at Industrial Light and Magic we want to thank. And these really do belong to you, but we're probably going to keep them at our house. Is that true? <laughs> but um, thank you very, very much. It's a true honor, and we're truly grateful. Thank you. Audiences spend a few hours watching a movie. With a video game, it's more like thousands of hours. And uh, every nook and cranny of that image is interacted and examined until the sun comes up and you go, oh my gosh, I gotta go work. So here are the nominees for Outstanding Visual Effects in a Real Time Project. Outstanding Visual Effects in a Real Time Project. Halo 5 Guardians. Nicholas Bouvier. John Wood. Brian Goodrich. Matt Aldridge. No. Boy, you shoot. Oh, this gray area of BS. Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Thierry Danceru. Francois Pilland. Marc Andre Clermont. Matthew Chernard. Aye. The Order 1886. Aye. 
Nathan Faleth, Dana Jan, Anthony Vitali, Scott Andreessen. <laughs> Destiny the Taken King. Michael Zack, Mark Noseworthy, Stephen Scott, Dave Matthews. The Hobbit, A Thief in the Shadows. Alistair Cool, Daniel Smith, Nick Donaldson, Tim Ellick. So tell me, thief, how do you choose to die? And the winner for Outstanding Visual Effects in a Real-Time Project is... The Order, 1886. Thank you so much. Um, it's really just an honor for us to be in this room with so many incredible nominees. And Dana and I just wanted to accept this award on behalf of the entire team at Ready at Dawn. From, from art, design, animation, with a meticulous obsession to craftsmanship, to an incredibly talented engineering team who built a rendering tools and game pipeline all from the ground up. What a small team from portable game development was able to achieve with the Order 1886 is generally the sum of all the parts. So to all the talented ladies and gents at RAD, congrats on an outstanding job. And to the VAS members, thank you for the recognition for the team, as well as the industry at large. It's truly an honor. Thank you. Thank you. Up next, outstanding visual effects in a student film, Scott Ross, and special awards for Ridley Scott and Sid Mead. Scooting along. This next part is my favorite part of the VES Awards every year, this next category. Uh, this is so exciting. Not as, not as amazing as the award that will be given out to the great Wrigley Scout later on, but it is still a close. I'm going to go back to that well all night, people. I'm not proud, okay? I'm going to be mispronouncing his name. It works every time. Here from Autodesk uh, to present the student award. This, I'm running backstage to watch this package immediately because this is always so amazing. So ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mr. Mark Stevens. Mark Stevens. You watch me bleed until I can't be. So first, I just want to, on behalf of Autodesk, Shotgun, I want to just congratulate all the winners, nominees here tonight. It's been 20 years that I've been fortunate enough to be able to help provide software for this industry, and every year, things just continue to get better and better, so congratulations. So, you know, at Autodesk, you know, we value tremendously investing in young talent. Uh, several years ago, there was a decision made to make freely available all our software to students, to educators. And that's part of the reason why, you know, for the past nine years, we've partnered with the VES to be able to provide this award to some incredibly talented young artists that, uh, you know, as you're going to see here tonight, you know, the bar just continues to go up, and it's really unbelievable what they're doing now. So, with that said, here are the nominees for Outstanding Visual Effects in a Student Project. Outstanding Visual Effects in a Student Project. Courser. Guillaume Menar, Vincent de Grip, Jesse Heron, Tangi Vian.
Skull. Marco Hockenyos. Christian Sehetsemeyer. Tim Wagoneer. Manuel Cypher. Jagan. Julian Weiss. Vincent Ullman. Fabian Frick. Yafes Sahin. Sidi Patty. Andreas Feeks. Francesco Ferrana. And the award goes to City Potty. Andrea Speaks, Francesco Ferrano. Come on up, guys. All right. Gotta do this right. Okay. I mean, wow. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I gotta thank VS and Autodesk just for deem our little project worthy of this award after it has stolen so many nights we could have partied. Yeah. Okay, now on about the team, I, I gotta thank Francesco for having my back all this time. We both have to give a shout out to Natalia for her valuable support and texturing. She is in his room. Yeah, good job. And everyone else who gave us their support in their respective departments in sound design and music and concept art. We have both have to thank our families for their valuable support in moral and everything else, sleeping grounds, vacation, and of course, the Film Academy and all the student colleagues and our respective competitors who are sitting here as well, just for providing this crazy environment to work in, because that's how we love it. And I don't know, should I, should I say something more? Okay, life finds a way. <laughs> yeah, then in, go and enjoy, yeah, where is he? Polly Pockets, you're awesome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome digital media pioneer, Scott Ross. Hello, good evening. Ford Motor Company, United States Steel Phillips Electronics, Sony, Chrysler, the Smithsonian, General Motors, General Electric, Minolta, Lockheed, Apple, Panasonic, and yes, Playboy. Star Trek The Motion Picture, 2010, Short Circuit, Time Cops, Aliens, Wing Commander, Blade Runner. I guess you all know what all of these things have in common. An ingenious and an innovative designer. Now, our industry has become highly specialized, allowing for incredible modularity. It's not uncommon to find concept designers today that just do horror, fantasy, elves for superhero movies only. But the specialty of this year's Visionary Award recipient, envisioning the future. The Oracle from St. Paul, Minnesota has designed for the movies automobiles, video games, industrial products, 747s, consumer products, luxury yachts for Donald Trump, golf courses, cruise ships, nightclubs, ride films, theme parks. Well, you get the idea, pretty outrageous. So, oftentimes his only brief was to design something that no one has ever seen before. And time after time he's done just that. And he's not just someone that can see the future, he's also actively involved with upcoming artists, young artists. I personally have had the pleasure to watch this man give to a lot of young artists, to inspire and instruct, to support, and to mentor hundreds of young designers. And while his creativity takes him to other worlds, he has his feet firmly planted in the here and now. 
And one of his many bits of advice, and I love this one, to upcoming artists is, if they don't pay you, it's a hobby. <laughs> don't we all know that? This man is the whole package. He's brilliant, collaborative, talented, caring, funny, and practical. And I'm proud to call him my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, the Visionary Award this year goes to Sydney. And imagination is the creation of putting elements together, whatever the idea is, in different combinations. To be able to draw, I think, is a very, very valuable skill. I, mean, I feel fortunate that I can do that. The whole idea of creating artwork and creating image, in my mind, is duplicating reality to make people enjoy being told something they didn't know before. In 1933, the future was born and his name was Sid Mead. Sid Mead was recruited right out of art school by the Ford Motor Company for his abilities as an amazingly creative concept artist and illustrator. In 1979, Hollywood took notice and Sid Mead's contribution to such films as Star Trek, Blade Runner, Ron. Aliens. 2010. Mission Impossible 3. And Elysium shared his creative vision, talent, and ability with the world. If I have a sheet of 8.5 by 11 paper, I can create a whole picture idea, a design idea for myself to use as reference. His unique brand of fantastical future with believability made his flying cars, soaring metal cityscapes, and electronic dreamscapes seem reachable, made Sid the visionary futurist the world has come to know. I think what drives the future is the quest of human intellect wanting to investigate the curiosity and wanting solution to unanswered questions. Sid Mead's visions, concepts, and designs have become so influential and pervasive that his future became the future. His tomorrow, everyone's tomorrow. A place the rest of us know is out there waiting to arrive. Ladies and gentlemen, Sydney. This is phenomenal. Thank you. Receiving this award from the Visual Effects Society is at once humbling and exhilarating. Uh, somebody asked me once, you've been to the future, can you tell us about it? And I said, no, I've signed an NDA. Well, that's, that's, that's what it is. I've, I've enjoyed a 30-year career par parallel to the movie industry. And the first movie I ever worked on was Blade Runner. <laughs> From start to finish. Pre-production, post-production. How lucky can you get? I had the opportunity to work with a consummate director, Ridley Scott. I, mean, <laughs> I got to meet Michael Dealey, the producer. I got to work with industry pro uh, professionals. Lawrence Paul, the production designer of record, David uh, Snyder. Got to see Douglas Jumble again, and Dave Dreyer for special effects. It was a remarkable opportunity. When you go through life, it's, re it's really nice to somebody help you. Uh, we make each other laugh. When we have to add uh, somebody to our corporate shift list, we always agree. 
my life partner, Roger Servick, and I have been working for 40 years to stabilize our personal, social, and business environments. And the business environment has been consistently uh, profitable, fortunately. So thank you again, Visual Effects Society. And uh, I admire the expertise in this room. It's the best in the world. Thank you very much. Up next, Camilla Luddington, and later, a special award for Ridley Scott. Congratulations, Ridley. So well deserved. And um, have a great night and drinks when you get back to Manhattan. It was Sid Mead, ladies and gentlemen. I can't, uh, wow. Yes. His debut was Blade Runner. That was him coming out of the gate. That was his first thing. Thank you so much, Pipley Scotch, for giving him that opportunity. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, our next presenter, uh, you've seen on Grey's Anatomy, and she did the mocap for Laura Croft in the Tomb Raider video game, which must have been brutal. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Camilla Luddington. Camilla Luddington. <laughs> When Isaac Newton got hit on the head with an apple and discovered gravity, I think the question he was really pondering was, how can I make it look really real when an indestructible superhero crashes through a skyscraper? Well, Isaac, they've done it. They've answered that and the other age-old question, what does it look like when lava shoots out of your eyeballs? <laughs> Here at the nominees for Outstanding Effect Simulation in an Episode Commercial or Real-Time Project. Outstanding Effect Simulations in an Episode Commercial or Real-Time Project. Halo 5, The Hunt Begins. Vladislav Shevsky, Tomas Zavekas, Sho Hashigawa, Sergei Koserev. Lipton the Revolution in Tea, Jonathan West Wesley, Tom Raynar, Christos Parlioros. SSE Peer, Peter Ag, Sam Driscoll, Matthew Fuller. Game of Thrones Hard Home. David Ramos, Antonio Lado, Piotr Weiss, Felix Berger. And the award goes to Game of Thrones Hard Home. Well, hi again. Um, David and Felix are, yeah, they're working in Spain again. So here I am to thank again everybody on their behalf. Uh, Holly, Steve, Joe, this has been a great adventure for us, so let's keep having fun. It's been great. Thank you very much. And thanks, everybody. And now the nominees for Outstanding Effect Simulation in an Animated Feature. Outstanding Effect Simulations in an Animated Feature. The Peanuts Movie. Alan Lai. Elon Goodbye. Chris Chapman. Douglas Saden. <laughs> no lava! Woo! 
Inside Out, Amit Badkar, Dave Hale, Vincent Saratella, Paul Mendoza. The Good Dinosaur, Stephen Marshall, Magnus Renage, Michael Hall, Hemagiri Amrumagam. Home. Greg Gladstone, Michael Lozier, Chris De Saint Chuor, Alex Timchenko. Gorg! Oh, it is useless to yell. And the award goes to the good dinosaur. Thank you, um, and thank you, VES. Um, uh, we'd like to thank the leadership of The Good Dinosaur, uh, Pete Sohn, uh, Denise, uh, Sanjay, uh, Sharon, and John. Uh, it was a great pleasure working with you. Um, we'd also like to thank all the departments uh, that helped us out in this process. It couldn't have done it without you. That's in sets, uh, layout, um, uh, lighting, rendering. Uh, pretty much every department helped us on this one. But, um, and we also stand here representing uh, the 30 plus effects and uh, simulation artists on the show. We did a great job. Um, it was amazing work and uh, this award's for you. Thank you. And the final simulation award, the nominees for outstanding effects simulation in a photo reel feature. Outstanding effects simulations in a photo reel feature. Mad Max Fury Road, Toxic Storm. Dan Bethal, Clinton Downs, Chris Young. Avengers, Age of Ultron, Hulk vs. Hulkbuster. Michael Balog, Jim Van Allen. Florent Andorra, George Kaltenbrunner. Star Wars The Force Awakens, Star Killer Base. Rick Hankins, Dan Borstein, John Doublestein, Gary Wu. San Andreas, Hoover Dam, San Francisco Tsunami. Joe Scar, Lucas Lepikowski, Eve Dunko, Marcel Kern. San Andreas, Los Angeles Destruction. Remy Tor, Mark Horsfield, Neal Flynn, Victor Grant. And the award goes to Mad Max Fury Road Toxic Storm. The dudes couldn't be here tonight. They're all off uh, working on the next amazing thing. But uh, they asked me to, uh, to thank George for his amazing vision. He really is one of the uh, great directors uh, you know, in the world. He's awesome to work with. And uh, so the whole team at Alora, uh, to Tom Wood, uh, Andrew Jackson, Fiona Crawford, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, and the, the whole effects team, thank you very much.